<laughs> Come on, Sarge. The fun's out here. It's too hot to walk the dogs today, so we're in the pool. 95 degrees in Florida feels like 107. That is according to the National Weather Service. You can't take a dog out for a walk in heat like this. I think in a few years, we're gonna move to a cooler climate, if there is such a place. Watching these dogs play, I wonder, what is the perfect amount of dogs you can have before people think you're crazy? And just how many pass that number hey, before the ball? authorities are ball. called? Go get your ball. At one time, I had five dogs at the same time. I had Emma and four German Shepherds. I used to wonder if it would be cheaper if I married a veterinarian. Then I used to think she'd want me to do things like visit her family on the holidays, participate in whatever religion she belongs to, and try to act normal around her friends. I didn't think someone that had five dogs could accomplish that. In my dog thought experiment, I always concluded that it was cheaper just to pay the vet bills. Bud? You looking at Sarge? Months later, three of my dogs passed away, two of cancer, another of old age. The first one I took to the vet, she told me that he had cancer and she gave me a hug. The next dog I took, she said the dog was dying of old age. She gave me another hug. The last dog I took, Maya, had cancer. She hugged me again. I thought, gee, one more dog. I could probably sleep with this woman. I joke about it now but losing a dog is traumatic. At my age, I wasn't gonna get another puppy. I didn't think Aiden and I had puppy energy, but we did, and Sarge is the best puppy I've ever had. He's sweet, compassionate, and he snuggles a lot. Come on, Aiden. Come on, bud. People always ask me why I like German Shepherds. I like all types of dogs. But I always keep circling back to German Shepherds. I like their personality, their extreme loyalty, and their fierce protective instinct. For example, one night I heard the dogs barking. I don't usually think anything of it unless I hear Aiden bark. If Aiden barks, you know it's serious. I went to the kitchen and I saw through the laundry room the door to the garage was open. I followed it out into the yard and saw the dogs chasing something down the street. I didn't hear anyone screaming bloody murder, so in all likelihood it was a bear. I called out to the dogs to come in. They all ran back in the house, and I secured all the doors and went back to bed.
I thought it was a bear because one night I was looking through the window in the door between the laundry room and the garage and there was a bear's head right there staring at me. It took both of us a few minutes to understand what we were looking at and the bear took off running, which quite frankly, I'm glad one of us did. One time I took Aiden and Maya to a German Shepherd trainer because they needed to be trained. I put muzzles on both of them just in case. And the trainer came up and put a pinch collar on Maya. And he started walking around this big field and he would yank on the leash and it would pinch her neck and she would yell. Oh, Aiden didn't like that. He never took his eyes off the man. And when the man finally circled back around to us, Aiden launched an attack on the guy's chest with a metal muzzle and kept pounding him in the chest. Aiden never forgave that guy. We couldn't go back. Panting and muscular. Comes a swimmer and one still a little baby. Aiden is the type of dog you want in case of an apocalypse or a revolution, or any other crazy event. He'll protect you to his end. You right, boy? You think you could rest? I do. He likes to make bubbles. That's why I call them bubbles sometimes. Why are you biting the water? Are you angry at the water? Did the water offend you? <coughs> What's going on there, boy? You gonna come in and join us? Or are you gonna be a little baby? Are you gonna be a little baby? Sarge, on the other hand, <laughs> I got him as a puppy, and he was expensive, because I wanted to get a dog that wasn't crazy this time and Sarge is the best puppy I've ever got. He's gentle and loving, and he plays with his toys against me at night until he falls asleep in my arms. I don't think he's a swimmer, because at his age, he would have jumped in the water already. But he's a good boy. So we go for walks, swim a lot, have lots of treats, and we watch TV. These two dogs love to watch TV. And they like to watch dog shows. You need a rest. <laughs> 
Aiden will swim all day long if I let him, but I don't let him. And he won't swim alone, so I have to sit next to him. And the puppy loves to watch him swim. He'll throw Aiden's balls in there, trying to coax him into the water. Oh, you don't want me to get it either, huh? Oh, you want to play. You want to play. Get the ball. Go get it. Go get it, Aiden. Don't let him take your ball from you. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. You have something caught in your throat? What are you trying to say, boy? All right, come on. Fun's out here. There we go.